Hello everyone, Joseph here and welcome to another project video with the Fordwino. Before we start, let's talk a little bit about network connections. The client-server model is a network architecture in which node on the network is either a client or a server. Usually, a server is a node in the system who receives and processes information and the client is the one who sends and requests data from the server. Now, how about TCP? TCP is the most commonly used protocol on the internet and it is connection-oriented, meaning reliability of the connection is of high priority in this protocol. One of the ways it ensures this is by acknowledgements and resending of data. If you currently don't have Fordinos on you right now, you can buy it at our website, thefordwino.com. Also, the following IDEs can be used. The workshop for and the Arduino IDE. Now let's go a short walkthrough about the program. For the complete code, kindly visit our website provided down below. In this video, I'm going to use the Workshop 4 IDE. Connect your Arduino to the PC. Make sure each of the Arduino is connected to the right COM port. Then simply click on the Compile and Load button. Insert the SD card for each Arduino to save the images used in the project. Don't forget to insert the SD card into the Arduinos after loading. This will compile and load the code into your Arduinos. And you will see the LCD similar to that of the YCWIG what you see is what you get area. The first lines you will see in the programs is the access point SSID and the password. You can put your own router here or use the Arduino as an access point. In the master Arduino program, you will see that there are assigned host name, host port, and MOX ID that is manually selected for each Arduino. In the setup code, you can edit the default questions in the project. Just simply change the text inside the brackets. To change the choices, just replace the words after each symbol. Just make sure it ends with a percentage as a stop symbol. For this project, just make sure the number of characters inside the bracket doesn't exceed 30 characters. While in the other Fordwinos, you can see the hostname and host port used by the master Fordwino and the MOX ID used by the current Fordwino to enable multiple connections. Now it's time for the demo. The first Fordwino, the master, will act as a client while the other two Fordwinos act as a server. The master will show an OK text. That means it has been connected to Fordwino 2. Pressing a button sends the question and choices to Fordwino 2 and 3. You can also press the button again if it did not send. After which you could see the questions and choices in the other Fordwinos, which will now act as clients. You can see that it will wait for Fordwino 1 to set up as a server. Pressing the arrow button on the master Fordwino switches the role of the master as a server and will be receiving and counting the votes from the other Fordwinos. Okay, that's about it. Hope you learned from this TCP demo of the Fordwino. If you're interested for more fun stuff, please check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching!